day, Amen. we started with a bulletproof. Amen. Yeah, Amen. no worry, no fear. That's our church. Amen. That's us. Because we are in Christ and through the power of His Spirit, we're able to sing that in faith. Amen. And we're living it, do we? Amen. So with that, thank you so much, Lord, for this day. We welcome you to this beautiful day. Indeed, the Lord is good. And in this church, He is exalted. Amen. This place, Christ Jesus is the King. And uh, with that, let's open our Bible to 2 Timothy 2, 20 to 21. Praise God. So, wow. When I was preparing myself for this meditation, God ministered to me big time. Yeah. And I thank you, Lord. Before we could minister, you ministered to us first. And it's so awesome to be able to have the time with the Lord. And then, Lord, today, let this time, Lord, of gathering together will be, Lord, a day of praise, worship, thanksgiving to you. We invite the Holy Spirit's presence. We invite your peace, your love, your strength, your healing, and the atmosphere of glory, Lord, in this place. We thank you, God, that this day is going to be a great, marvelous, amazing day because you are here. And help us, Lord, that we'll be able, Lord, to feast on your word. That we have that spiritual nutrient that we need today. Thank you, O God, that every heart right now is being prepared by the power of your spirit. That it's going to be the word that will be spoken by all who will be ministering today. That our hearts are ready, the soil are ready to receive you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, 2 Timothy, verses 2, 20 to 21. It says in here that in a large house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for special purposes and some for common use. Verse 21 those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. Praise God. So when you read the chapter 2 from verses 1 to 19, they're speaking about all these things, the false doctrines that are in the church. This is like, like gangrene. This is like giving all these problems um, to the church. And that's why he said that the cleanse with the latter. That means all of these things, the false teachings, and everything that is happening within the church. And it's also being um, a good reminder to all of us as a church, that we are God's vessel. Say to the person next to you, you are God's vessel. God. Do you believe that by your heart? Yes, I do. Because, you know, when, when we are here, you know, you're, you could be gold, you could be silver, you could be clay, you could be in any, any material that God will just make out of you. But, one thing about it, what is the common factor in there that you have a purpose you have a purpose and uh, let me um, share to you that in Elard's house here he said that there are articles so just like us the church in a church like us where people of God come together unif having that unity with each other there are different roles different purposes in here in God's um, Place. And each role is significant and important. I have to, rem to remind you of it. You are significant and important. And sometimes the devil says, you know, hey, those who are ministering in the fivefold ministry, you know, the pastors, evangelists, the teachers, the prophets, the apostles who are in the limelight are those that are the one having that. No way, Jose. All of you are ministers of God. As what I've said last week, you are called for the royal priesthood. You are called for a reason. We are created by God for Him to bring glory to His name. And whatever the, the role that you have in this church, 
you are very significant, valuable. And God looks at the heart of the people who serve. It's not just about our talents. It's not about our, our qualifications. God calls for those who are willing, who are humble, who are obedient, and who are going to bring glory to God through their gifts, through their lives, because our lives are worship to God. It's not just about the song that we sing. It's about our lives. We're going to be the testimony of who Christ in us. People can see it. Even if we are good in blogging, you are good in speaking, but your life will be the manifestation of who Christ really is. Amen. It's a powerful testimony, and, and it, it is a great reminder to all of us. Yes, Paul teaches us that all kinds of vessels of God are needed needed in the house of God. And uh, by using this imagery of Paul, we were able to see that the house of God is overflowing with such vessels. Different vessels, different purposes. And the various gifts and talents that are effective in the functioning in the God's house. That's why I'm being reminded by Corinthians 12, uh, 12, he said, just as the body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. That's why we are one body here, the community Christian church, one body in Christ. Each member has his own purpose, and we come together not to divide, but we come together to be united, and we come together as one, as Jesus Christ is the head. And thank you for that being, and being reminded, it's just, wow, Lord, thank you. Amen. That in, in this time, we have to acknowledge the fact that we need each other. That's why when, when Brother Lou was talking about praying, we continue praying, yes, we do. Amen. We will be con continually covering for each other, Amen. continually supporting for each other, continue working for each other. Amen. Why? Because it is the will of God for us to be united in Him. And if we are united in Him, and we have the love of Christ in us, it fuels us to see everyone to be always part of the body. We are, you are not being neglected. We are one in here. And in Romans 12, 4, 5, he said, For just as each of us as one body with many members, and these members do not have the same function, so in Christ, we though may many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. So not others are just only the hands. Maybe others are also the ears. Others are the mouth, the, the, the speakers. The, the most. But there are those. I have seen in her, we have plenty of vessels. We have seen these women in here. Oh my goodness, we have granny, our encourager. She has this ministry for being an encourager. We have Mommy Joan who has this faithfulness in a lot of things too. Surely everybody, all of you guys, you are not just there sitting there, but you are very valuable for the kingdom of God. You are valuable for his, for his house. That's why when I was sitting there, wow, and I'm looking forward also for the young people, the young people to step up because they are vessels too. They are vessels that they will be glorifying God and they're starting to flap their wings. Young people, flap your wings. Started to flap your wings. I love it. I look forward that these young people will be the future leaders of this church. They are great vessels. And oh, I've seen that. I'm so excited what God will be doing. Oh my Lord. And that God is, yeah, God is using people, all of us, who flee from sin and pursue godliness, righteousness, faith, love, and peace by obeying the word of God. That's why when you are, we are standing here, we are not those that holy and worthy, but because of Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross, we're able to give the testimony of that Amen. newness in life. That in us. Hey, because of Jesus and his love for me, I was able to stand here renewed, new person, and I am not defeated anymore. Amen. That's, the kind, that's the kind of spirit that we have in this church. And we are cleansed and sanctified by the word of God. That's why in here, those who cleanse themselves, 
The word of God always, always, always cleanses us. Always washed us of the infirmities, anything that entangles our walk with him and our focus with him. And uh, wow, Lord, thank you so much. And he's always looking at the motivation of our heart. What motivates our heart? And I have to check that all the time. Lord, am I doing this for you? Or am I doing this for myself? Then I guess like, Lord, Holy Spirit, speak to me. That I will be able to know what you want me to do. Lead me to the ways. Lead me. Because apart from him, we, can, we will be working in our own flesh. And one thing about this, I'm looking forward to see all of you, all of us come together to work, to magnify the Lord through the ministry that he will be entrusted to. And I'm looking forward for Angie. Man. I'm looking forward for Angie that she will be also, a lot of us, that she will be also a vessel also of influence to so many people. I've seen that in her. She has this love of God. She has this love of God in her. And think about it. God doesn't qualify those who are qualified by education, but he qualifies you because of your love for Amen. God. And I love it. I love each of you. I could see that over and over again. I could see that over again. Why I single out, uh, not a single out person, but I could see all the potentials. All of us has potentials in this yeah. place. You are not being left out. All of us are valuable for the Lord's work. Yeah. Let's invest our time for the kingdom. Yeah. Let's, I call that kingdom investment. Yeah. Kingdom investment, our time, our love. And thank you so much, Lord, for that opportunity that we will be able to do that by the power of His Spirit. And I am being reminded today that in Colossians 10, what profiles us is that regardless what you are right now, consider that to be an honor, to be an honor that God would use you for his house. <laughs> his house, I encourage you to say yes to the role that God will be entrusting to you. Amen. And when you step up, he will make a way for you. You will just be amazed because you are a willing vessel. Now, I'm telling you this. Who's going, who loves to be a vessel for God? When I see the hands over here. Oh, I love it. That's why I love this church. I love this church because these are the people who have that heart for the Lord, the love of God. And we always remember, this is the same principle that I have in my life in Colossians 3.17. Whatever you do, whether in wood or in deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Whatever you do, do it for the Lord. And now, all the vessels of God will not just do a lot of great things for Him because we look forward to that great time together working with but right now as we're going to have the praise and worship the vessels will also sing out loud giving praise giving honor giving glory to the king of kings and the lord of lord jesus christ and everybody says amen and amen